To make the pendant, we've got a rose charm. This rose charm is gold and it's 12 millimeters in diameter. And then we've got some rondel beads. These are crystal rondels. We have eight in marine blue. They're two millimeters through the hole and they're three millimeters wide. And then we have a matching rondel here, two of them that are the same size, two millimeters by three millimeters, but these are a very pretty light blue crystal rondel. We're going to put the pendant together using an eye pin. An eye pin is like a head pin, but it has a loop at the end, and it's gold to match the rose charm. This is our gold chain necklace that we're going to put the pendant on. And then for tools, we're going to use wire cutters and round nose pliers. To make the pendant, the first thing we want to do is put the rose charm on the bottom of our eye pin. And to do that, we need to open up the loop at the bottom of the eye pin. And I'm going to use the round nose pliers to do that. And I'm just going to take the open side. This is the end of the pin, and it comes around like this and then continues on. So I'm taking that open side, and I'm just going to sort of open it like a gate upwards towards the ceiling. That way I still have a round shape, but I also have a little opening in the side that I can use to slide on the rose charm. So then I'm just going to slide the rose charm into that opening. And then I'm going to close it back the same way using the round nose pliers. I'm going to bend it back so it meets back up with where it started. And that's how we're going to put the rose charm on. So that's on there already. Looks nice. And now we're going to make the beaded bar part of the pendant. And to do that, I'm going to feed on all these tiny, beautiful little rondels. And we chose two colors of these rondels to feed onto the eye pin this beautiful marine blue we thought we would do a pattern that's sort of more beads that match at the bottom so five matching blue beads at the bottom and then we thought it'd be nice to kind of interrupt that with one of these light blue crystals so i've got five on there and then there's that light blue one that kind of interrupts it you could do it all the same it would look wonderful i'm sure and this also would look pretty with other beads like pearls, maybe. There's another of the dark one. And we'll put another light one on there. And then two more, the last two rondels. When you pick out your rondels, it's a good idea to test with your eye pin to make sure your eye pin fits through your beads. Some beads are very small. The holes in them are too small for a head, for a head pin or an eye pin. So you just want to check that. So there's the bar. And that makes the pendant hang nice and long. So now what we need to do is just put a loop at the top of that. So I'm just going to press the beads towards the end. And I'm going to use my round nose pliers to make a wrapped loop at the top of this. And to make that wrapped loop, I want it to be in the same plane as my bottom loop. So I want to turn the eye pin a little. So now the eye pin is going to be in the same plane. I mean, the loop on the eye pin will be in the same plane as the loop we're going to make. To make this loop, I'm going to make a 90 degree bend in the wire by pushing the wire down 90 degrees. And then I'm going to reposition my pliers to the top of that 90 degree bend. Where I position this loop, where I position this on the pliers is going to determine how big my loop is. If I start making the loop here, it will only be as big as the end of the pliers, which is very tiny. I could also make the loop up here, and the loop will be as big as the pliers up here, which is a little too big. But we do need it big enough to go around our chain. So I'm going to go right here in the center, make sort of a medium-sized loop. And then to make that loop, I'm going to pull the wire up and over the pliers like that. I can't go all the way around, so I'm going to put the bottom jaw in, and then I'm going to bend the wire down and around like that. And I have a little bit of a gap there, so I'm just going to rotate the loop a little bit to close that gap. And then I'm going to straighten the loop up so it's right at the top. And then I'm just going to trim the end. I called this a wrap loop, but as I was doing it, I could see that I don't have enough of a tail to make a wrap. So I'm just going to do a simple loop instead. So I'm going to trim the end here with my wire cutters and the eye pin wire is a little harder than 
some of the wire we work with. So you have to manipulate it a little bit. And I'm just going to make that loop complete like that. And now I can feed my chain in. Here's our necklace that we're going to put it on. If you uh, buy some chain and you don't have a clasp on it already, you can uh, put a clasp on it. And this one has a jump ring on the end, but the jump ring is bigger than the loop I have here. So I'm just going to remove the jump ring by opening it the same way we did the bottom of the eye pin. And I'm going to drop that chain in. And then I'm going to put that jump ring right back on, just like that. But you could buy your own chain. They sell chain by the foot at the jewelry supply store, and you could put your own clasp on it. And then I'm just going to close that jump ring the same way, bend it back like that. And that is our beautiful long charm pendant. Mm -hmm.